8th and 10 o'clock on Saturday morning. Time now to imagine it with the chief scientist from the Imagination Station, Carl Nelson. The gloves are on. We've got Muppet hands, and I noticed that you gave me the gloves that are slightly singed. So what's, what's maybe happening here? Well, we're going to make some sound <laughs> using really hot metal screen like this okay. and these steel pipes. Sure. That's the plates are for. We don't want the metal hot stuff to fall on the fabric. Okay. okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to take this pipe. It's got a screen like that inside. And I heat it up. You can see that it starts to glow really bright down inside the tube. Yeah. And what we're going to do is we're going to flip it upright and allow that warm air to rise through the tube. really quite loud. <laughs> okay. So go ahead and pick yours up. You okay. Do the same thing. And so what's happening is that hot air will rise through the tube, just heat it up until it's glowing red hot. Will rise through the tube and it'll excite all different sorts of frequencies, but only one can resonate inside the tube. Really? Okay. That's sort of like the resonant frequency of the tube. So go ahead and just hold it steady. So when you turn it sideways, the hot air can't rise. Turn it upright, it can rise. Okay, so... <laughs> all right, slow down there. Now, <laughs> the cool thing is, if you do this with two pipes at the same time. Oh. Now, my pipe is about one millimeter shorter than your pipe. Right. Okay, so we're going to get them both excited at the same time with that hot air going through there, and then turn them upright. Is okay? this the perfect pitch? Well, we're going to see what happens here. It's, it's kind of an interesting effect, because they'll each oscillate at a different frequency, okay? Looks like you're ready to go. Go ahead and put it upright. Right. You hear that oscillating frequency? It sounds like we're tuning up for marching band. We're very, very <laughs> close, but not quite in tune. Now, one last time. Heat it up. I'm going to grab the pipe from you for this. Okay. It's a really cool effect we can see if we have the pipes close to one another. So I want you to listen to the sound when we get the pipes right next to one another, and then when I pull them apart. Okay, so don't turn it up quite yet. All right, I'll take that from you. Perfect. Here we go. pipes next to one another, a really complex set of oscillations start to happen, and they tune themselves to the same frequency. That's wild! Okay? <laughs> now, if you were a pipe organ manufacturer, you'd have to kind of worry about that sort of engineering, mm -hmm. that you wouldn't want two pipes next to one another that should be at a different frequency making the same sort of sound. Yeah. So it's some really cool physics that happens with some stuff you can buy at a garage sale. <laughs> you know, just some pipes and some metal screens. Right. And it's it is incredibly loud, too. Yeah. So there that's, you go. A, that's a make pipes. your own howling pipes. All howling right. pipes for Halloween. There you go. Exactly. <laughs> Thanks very much. Well, hey, if you want to see what else he's got howling down at the Imagination Station, you can stop in. Those are the hours on your screen there, but they're not open just yet. That's go ahead right. And tell we us are more. we are close to the past week for little renovations and some cleaning and updating. We're going to open up on Tuesday though. Okay. So come down and check out everything we have on Tuesday. Gotcha. All right. They'll be cleaning the pipes. Yep. Thanks very Absolutely. much, Carl. That's this week's Imagine It. Time now for Dave with sports.